Do you want to be on my film? No. Say hi to the camera. No. Sure you don't want to be in the vlog? Yes. You don't want to be in the vlog. Morning guys, <laughs> as you can probably tell I am not the best at mornings and since I had COVID about a month ago it's made it even worse to be honest, um, yeah. So I normally rake up anywhere between 7 and 8 and today it was closer to 8. I used to have showers as part of my nighttime routine um, to help me relax, but again, I've kind of switched it to the morning now because I'm just so awful at mornings. And I have like a five minute hot shower and then like 30 seconds to a minute cold shower just to help try and wake me up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come and grab some coffee. This was my Christmas present. It's like a jug the size of my head that's also a French press. Um, so if I was staying here to write or like do admin work, I would probably fill that up and drink it throughout the day while I'm working to help me focus. But I'm in a bit of a rush today. I'm going to the lab, so um, I'm just gonna have an espresso. like five ten minutes going through um some stuff in my bullet journal which maybe maybe i'll give you guys a little tour this i have my mood and sleep tracker two hours last year minus december where i had covid and as you can see, I slept for like 12, 13 hours every day. Uh, I also have my period tracker because for me, that's something I'm still working on in terms of getting like a healthy menstrual cycle. In the morning, it's probably when my brain is most anxious. It's like when I'm thinking about all the things I need to do today, and especially at the start of the week on like a Monday or something, I'm thinking about all the things you have to do for the entire week. And I just write down three things I'm grateful for. An affirmation is something that maybe you struggle with a bit personally that you want to improve on. So for example, I'm loved, I'm safe, or I'm in control. I write down a to-do list or the things that I have to do today. So then if you have more time and you feel maybe like your mind's really busy brain dumping, so just writing anything that comes into your head. <clears throat> if you're interested in like bullet journaling or journaling or organising in general, just let me know uh, in the comments uh, if you want to see like a video on it or any tips. I love breakfast. I think it's my favourite meal of the day. We have some really, really nice bread, like my favourite bread. Um, so I'm going to have some toast and peanut butter this morning. I 
I'm also a huge fan of peanut butter, so we have many varieties. I actually found these in Aldi. One, it's called Defense. It has some things that are supposedly superfoods. I don't believe in that word. But they're only £1.50, right? And they taste amazing. This one is kind of really different, but I love it. It's got live cultures in it, so like probiotics, turmeric and ginger. So I'm going to have some of the gut healthy ginger peanut butter and some jam. I want to have jam. Do you think jam and ginger would go well? Let's try it. <laughs> okay, Google, read me the news. I'm actually giving a talk um, online today to the rest of my department. Like normally, obviously pre-COVID, they would have been in person in the lecture theatre, but now most talks are online. <laughs> I also am a STEM ambassador, so I volunteer and go into schools and teach kids about neuroscience. That's always really fun and really rewarding, and I actually really, really like teaching, and I'm grateful that with my PhD, it can be quite flexible and, you know, I can do research, I can teach. I can write, um, I can make vlogs, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so my friend Kiara and I are now gonna try and do some paperwork and admin and writing up. We're in our third year of our PhD, so you know, it's crunch time. And if you don't know, we have to end up writing a thesis, which is 60,000 words, it's a lot. Basically a book, so we've got a little setup here. We booked out a room, we have a little workstation. We just have our names and our goals, like what we're gonna achieve in the next two hours. This is my third coffee of the day. We'll get some work done. So, let's go. facility now and 
I'm gonna head over to the NanoScience Centre, which is just across the road. I'm gonna go and collect some uh, microelectronic devices that I made yesterday. Um, so I'll just be there for like an hour and then I'm gonna head home. gym I was craving something sweet and salty so we have a banana some salty pea crisps and a protein bar my gym routines recently have been like a lot less intense than they used to be. Unfortunately, I had a back injury, which is like a whole nother story. Um, so now I'm just rehabbing that and doing a lot of physio. Normally look something like warming up for five, 10 minutes. On a cardio equipment, normally um, the rowing machine, followed by maybe three to five physio exercises targeted at activating my like deep core muscles, ability and also glute um, activation. And then today I'm gonna work on lower body, so anything with weight on my back is a no-go, so no deadlifts or squats, but I can do things like uh, dumbbell split squats, Let's do some machines, so like some leg extension, leg curl. Um, just working on my legs really, but in quite a passive way. So we are back from the gym and cooking up some nachos. <laughs> Because it's the end of the week and it's kind of become like a ritual now in the household at the end of the week we have nachos and it's kind of good because like when i was recovering from my eating disorder like a lot of these things would really scare me i mean it's really complicated anyway and different for everyone but apart from all like the diet culture rules that you're breaking <laughs> which obviously i don't believe now some people have like some sensory sensitivities they can also struggle so for example like i just hate the texture of like oils and like melted cheese and things like that so i just had like a load of things that would freak me out about anything like this meal <laughs> but i think that like anything if you're scared of something if it's causing you stress and you want it to change you have to change your behavior and expose yourself to that over and over again until you are not scared anymore the tree but also um, it's good to just keep challenging those thoughts that sometimes creep back in. Before bed, I either read for like 30 minutes or I write in my wind down journal. I'll give you a quick tour. Write down like what you achieved today. Let it go. So if something's been bothering you, like a constant thought or, you know, like a project or something. You write down your happy thought of the day. Um, and then I actually go back to the goals at the end. 
So what do you want to achieve tomorrow? It could be like a list of things, but it could also be like, you know, to be more mindful or present or something like that. It's just quite nice. Um, quite a nice way to just wind down. Yeah, I'm going to head to bed. I normally keep my phone outside of the room. Um, so I don't go on that at all, really, in like the hour before bed. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it.